If they do the right things for the right reasons, we will support them. If they do something wrong, they will be held accountable. In eight days, Columbus police officers have fired their weapons at suspects three times. In the most recent case, it happened overnight. One man was killed. Columbus police just released a video from each of those incidents. Mayor Andrew Ginther, Chief Elaine Bryant, and Public Safety Director Robert Clark all now asking the community for patience as these investigations take place. NBC4's Eric Halpern is live at Columbus Police Headquarters tonight with the very latest on these investigations. Eric, what do you know? Karen Sierra, the investigations are still in their very early stages. BCI is handling the two investigations in which people were shot. One of them happened over the weekend. One happened very early this morning. This is body camera video from that shooting this morning around 3 o'clock. Columbus police officers are at an apartment in the 3200 block of Sullivan Avenue. Police say they were there to serve a warrant on 20-year-old Donovan Lewis for improperly handling a firearm, domestic violence, and assault. Officers identify themselves and knock. According to Chief Elaine Bryant, that goes on for about 8 to 10 minutes before anyone answers. Eventually, two men are detained, neither are Lewis. Police use the canine and determine a third person is in the apartment. The canine officer opens a closet door, then the bedroom door. Chief Bryant says as that happens, the suspect raises his hand and there appears to be something. The canine officer fires. We're stopping the video before that happens. No guns were found. The person in the room was Lewis. Donovan Lewis he lost his life. As a parent, you know, I, I, I sympathize and I grieve with his mother. You know, as a community, I grieve with our community. But we're going to allow this investigation to take place. And again, BCI is investigating this shooting and a police shooting from over the weekend in which a suspect was shot after running after a traffic stop. That suspect survived. Chief Bryant says BCI declined to investigate another incident from last week in which an officer fired their weapon. The suspect was not hit. Chief Bryant says an internal investigation is happening into that incident. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Eric Halpern, NBC4. Well, Eric, noon tonight at 6, the Columbus branch of the NAACP has released a statement regarding that deadly shooting. It says, as always, the Columbus NAACP will wait for the particulars of the shooting. We demand that BCI conduct a thorough, comprehensive, and immediate investigation. These incidents leave behind grieving family members, unanswered questions from the community, and a further divide between the citizens and the police department.